Please note, this training video reflects the Mac Pro system as of March 2016. Changes not reflected in the March 2016 trainings include the Senior Manager role has been renamed Senior Reviewer, Disapproval Coordinator and Role Approver are additional CMS roles available, and finally, the CMS OSORA and CMS Point of Contact Administrator user roles have been removed. Please contact the Mac Pro Help Desk with any questions or concerns at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or call 301-547-4688. All right, we are going to continue with our in-system demonstration. Next, we are going to review the RAI or Request Additional Information process. The RAI process is similar to the clarification process with a few differences. The CMS point of contact and or the submission review team recommend RAI within the review tool. Then, the CMS point of contact takes action on the package and initiates RAI. The CMS point of contact completes the RAI form and returns the submission package to the state. Then, the state point of contact receives the submission package in RAI form in their to-do list. At this point, the state point of contact determines if the package needs to be updated based on the information asked in the RAI form. If so, the state point of contact modifies the package accordingly and responds to the questions within the RAI form. If not, the state point of contact responds to the questions in the RAI form and does not modify the package. Once the RAI form and any modifications to the submission package are complete, the state point of contact returns the submission package and RAI form to CMS. A new 90-day clock begins at this point. Let's now go into the system to see what these steps look like from the CMS perspective. We have logged in as the CMS point of contact. As we demonstrated earlier, the CMS state point of contact may utilize the compare doc change report to see what reviewable units have been changed by the state and the review tool report to see what information the SRT members have added to the review tool. You will have received an email notification letting you know what you have in your task list and it's a task list uh, to review the submission package. We have selected tasks and the tasks to review the submission package. Let's assume that after the state responds to clarification, we still have in-depth questions about the submission package. There are detailed changes that need to take place. We will now send the package into RAI or request additional information. The CMS point of contact will specify what needs attention within the submission package and return it to the state for edits and response. During our break, we completed the review of all reviewable units as the CMS point of contact to save time during the demonstration. In order to move forward with RAI, the column labeled Team Review Status has to all be in the complete status. Remember that only one member of the review team has to complete his or her review in order for that reviewable unit to be marked complete. So let's start by selecting Take Action on Package. A message will appear asking if we want to take action and we will select Yes. Under the section marked Available Workflow Actions, select the radio button next to Request Additional Information Regarding the Submission Package. Select Execute Action at the bottom of the page and select Yes. We are now directed to our task list. You will notice that the Review Submission Package task is no longer listed in our task list. If you select the Task tab again, this will refresh the page. A new task will appear labeled Request Additional Information. We will select this task. 
This is where you will enter your questions for the state. As we compose our questions for the state in the REI form, we also may want to have the reviewable open to reference. To do so, right-click on the link to View Entire Package and open this page in a new tab in your browser. It is important to not edit information in MacPro in two tabs. However, you may keep a reference tab open for your convenience. Additionally, be sure to keep your sessions with MacPro in one browser window. Let's navigate to the reference tab that we just opened. Remember that this is a training environment, so we will click to continue to this website. We will navigate to reviewable units from the left-hand menu. Click on the blue link to the Health Homes Geographic Limitations reviewable unit. After we review the data in the Geographic Limitations reviewable unit, we now feel like we are ready to compose our questions to the state in the REI form. We will navigate back to our Editable tab where we see the REI form. The required fields are Reference, CMS Question to the State, and Policy or Regulation. In the Reference section, we will enter Geographic Limitations. For the CMS question to the state, we will say, are you sure that these, these are correct? And we will enter geographic for the policy and regulation. I will note again that this is all dummy information for training purposes, and you should make sure that your information entered into the REI form pertains to the reviewable unit and the policy and regulation. Next, we will select Save Question to save our data. The question that we just entered will appear in a table below labeled All Questions. If we click on the blue link to question ID number one, you will see that we are able to edit the question. There is also an option to delete the question. We will not edit the question at this time, but rather choose the option to save the question. We will repeat these steps to enter another question. While we are entering data, I will mention that the RAI form is a form of official communication within the submission package. It replaces the RAI letter that used to be sent to the states. If CMS has overarching questions for the state, or if the CPOC and state point of contact have any offline discussions regarding the submission package, outside of RAI, those entries can be added to the correspondence log utilizing the steps shown earlier in this demonstration. Additionally, the CMS point of contact is the only user that can see the RAI questions before they are submitted to the state. It is expected that while the CMS point of contact is drafting the RAI form, the appropriate conversations are taking place outside of the system. Once all questions have been added, we will select Take Action on Package and select Yes. Under the section labeled Available Workflow Actions, we will select the radio button next to Send RAI to the State. Select Execute Action and Yes to send RAI to the State. Make sure that you want to initiate REI before selecting yes, because once it is initiated, there is not the option to change your mind. You cannot withdraw the REI request. Before we move on, we need to navigate back to our reference tab and close it. I would like to point out that the CMS point of contact does have the option to extend the REI period, and information on how to do so will be forthcoming. Now let's return to the PowerPoint to review the steps we just completed. We will return to the training environment. This slide includes the information that we just reviewed in the system. This is for your future reference. 
So we will move back into the Mac Pro system to continue the process. We are still logged in as the CMS point of contact. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have an already completed package that reflects the way it will look after the state has responded to RAI. You will have received an email notification letting you know that you have a task in your to-do list for this package, in addition to seeing any instructions on your newsfeed. In order to start on this task, we will select tasks from the upper toolbar and select Assign Reviewable Units to SRTs for the package ending in 912E. At the bottom of the page, you will see a button that says View RAI Response. Here you will see the questions that we entered for the state. The CMS point of contact will click on the blue links under question ID to see the state's response to that particular question. Let's start by clicking question ID 1. You will see what the state entered in response to our first question. And the state indicated that the submission package was updated in accordance with the response. Before we make a decision on assigning submission review team members, let's take a look at the compare doc change report to see what reviewable units the state changed in the submission package during their response to RAI. Right click on the link to view entire package and open this page in another tab on your browser. As I mentioned previously, do not edit information in Mac Pro in two tabs. However, you may keep a reference tab open for your convenience. Additionally, be sure to keep your sessions in Mac Pro to one browser window. Navigate to the reference tab that we just opened and choose Compare Doc Change Report from the left-hand menu. You will notice that the Health Homes Geographic Limitations Reviewable Unit has been changed as indicated by the green check mark. We now know that the submission review team members only need to review this unit as it is the only one that was altered. We can now close this reference tab. Let's return to assignment to begin assigning SRT members by choosing return to assignment. As we have in other steps during the workflow, we will assign reviewable units to the submission review team members. The CMS point of contact can utilize the text boxes under the column labeled SRT users to add or delete SRT users from a particular reviewable unit. For this demonstration, we will delete the SRT user from the Health Home Service Delivery Systems RU and then add the Help Desk CMS SRT Iowa user for the Health Homes Geographic Limitations Unit. We will also set a milestone date to give the SRT members a due date for this task. Let's choose April 4th. Next, we will select the green button labeled Assign Reviewable Units and select Yes. We are now back on our task tab. You will notice that the task to assign reviewable units to SRTs is no longer in our task list. If we select the task tab again, it will refresh. We now have a new task to review the submission package ending in 912E. The CMS point of contact does have the option to bypass the SRT members review. Remember, that in order to have reviewable units in the complete status, only one review team member needs to formally enter information into the review tool. For the sake of time, we will choose that route and review the submission package as a CMS point of contact. You will notice in the package information section that the regulatory clock has now started over to 90 days. 
This clock restarts once the state has resubmitted the submission package after RAI. Additionally, the review status has changed to Review 2 since we are now in the second review of the submission package. I would like to point out that as we demonstrated earlier in this presentation, the CPOC will be able to see what reviewable units have been changed by utilizing the compare doc located directly under the audit information. We will now select Take Action on Package and select Yes. At this point in the process, the CMS point of contact has the option to request clarification regarding the submission package, recommend approval, or recommend disapproval. We will move forward in the approval process by selecting the radio button next to Recommend Approval of the Submission Package, and then select Execute Action. A message will appear asking if we are sure, and we will select Yes. This brings us back to our task list. You will notice that the task to review the submission package is no longer listed. If we select the Task tab again, it will refresh our task list. The CMS point of contact performs a few consecutive tasks in this portion of the workflow. So after we have refreshed our task list, a new task will appear to complete approval package for the package ending in 912E. This will lead us to the approval letter portion of the approval package. This letter is the notice of approval to the state. Under the subject line, we will enter Notice of Approval. Then, we will enter the package ID of IA-16-912-E in the second text box. The second half of the letter details the reviewable units and their effective dates. These may be altered by typing in the effective date text boxes or by answering yes to the question do you want to enter the same effective date for all of the reviewable units? And choosing an effective date. Since this is a brand new SPA, we will choose the same effective date for all reviewable units of March 31st, 2016. If this was an amendment, we would want to have different effective dates for the reviewable units listed. The CMS point of contact may also enter additional text in the provided text box. For this demonstration, we will enter for testing purposes only. We are entering dummy information for this training, but please be advised that this is a text box where you would enter any federal financial participation match information. You will notice that the name and title lines are grayed out. This is the signature line for the package approver and he or she will fill out these lines in the forthcoming steps. To save our approval letter, we will select Save. Next, we will scroll to the bottom of the page and select Take Action on Package and Yes. The only available workflow action is to select Senior Managers for Submission Package. The CMS point of contact may enter instructions in the text box provided. But we will select the green button labeled Execute Action and Yes. Like before, we will notice that our previous task to complete the approval package is no longer listed. After selecting the Task tab, our task list will refresh. We will select the new task that has appeared labeled Select Senior Managers. The senior managers can be thought of as senior reviewers. Senior managers can be added to the distribution list by checking the box listed next to his or her name. You will notice that you can scroll through the senior managers by utilizing the blue forward and backward arrows in, below the table. For this demonstration, we will choose Help Desk CMS Senior Management Iowa.
We will also set a milestone date for the senior manager to complete his or her review. And let's choose April 1st. Again, instructions may be entered for the senior managers in the text box provided. Let's assume that we already spoke to the senior manager and they are expecting this to come their way, so we will skip the instructions. After the senior managers have been selected, we will select the green button labeled Send Package for Review and select Yes to send the package to the senior managers. I will mention that just like the CMS point of contact can bypass the submission review team members, he or she may also bypass the senior manager's response in order to keep it within the 90-day clock. There will be guidance around using this functionality in the future. Now, let's return to the PowerPoint to review the steps we just completed. We will return to the training environment. This slide includes the information that we reviewed in the system. This is for your future reference. After recommending approval, the CPOC sends the submission package on to other CMS members. Senior management then reviews the package disposition, and we will assume that senior management agrees with the recommended approval. In some instances, the CPOC may bypass outstanding senior management responses in order to keep within the 90-day clock. Next, the package approver receives the package. He or she has the option to request a meeting. The package approver does not have the option in MacPro to disagree with the recommended approval. Once the package approver agrees with the approval, the CPOC receives the package uploads the PDF approval letter, and returns the package to the state point of contact. The SPOC receives the package and acknowledges receipt. And finally, the CPOC closes the package in MacPro. Now let's go into the system to see what these steps look like from the CMS perspective. We will log into MacPro as the CMS Senior Manager. and this is our longest username to date. <laughs> Once logged in, we will see our news page. Remember that the news page functionality is consistent across roles, but the messages available differ. We will navigate to the task tab on the upper toolbar. We will select the task labeled review submission package. The senior manager will see the CMS point of contact's recommended disposition of approval as indicated by the green check mark. We now have the option to agree, disagree, or request a meeting regarding the recommended disposition. Should the senior manager disagree with the approval recommendation, the submission package would go back to the CMS point of contact for review. If Request a Meeting is selected, the CPOC will receive a task to conduct a brief meeting and to modify the approval letter after that meeting before sending it back to the senior manager. This meeting is scheduled outside of Mac Pro. For this training, we will click on the radio button next to Agree. The senior manager may enter instructions in the text box. For this training, we will enter for training purposes only. Next, we will click the button labeled Submit Decision and Yes. Now we will log out as the senior, senior manager and log in as the CMS package approver. We will see our news page along with any instructions left by the senior manager. We will navigate to the Task tab, and we will select the task that says Approve Package, ending in 912E. The package approver must first accept the task by selecting the green button that says Accept. 
please make sure that you want to work on this submission package prior to accepting the task. The approval letter that was filled out by the CMS point of contact will be shown. The package approver cannot edit the letter, but may edit his or her name and title by typing in the text boxes. The name field is pre-populated from your user profile. You will notice that the Save button is grayed out. When we make a change to the title to read Package Approver, the Save button will become available. We will save our work by selecting Save. The Package Approver has the option to request a meeting or take action on the package. For this demonstration, we will choose Take Action on the Package and select Yes. Our only available workflow action is to approve the official submission package. Please note that the package approver does not have the option in MacPro to disagree with the recommended approval. So we will choose the radio button next to Approve Official Submission Package. We will approve the package by selecting Execute Action and Yes. Now let's return to the PowerPoint to review the steps we just completed. We will return to the training environment. We are going to skip through the next few slides. These review what we just went over in the system and are here for your future reference. Let's return to the training environment to finish up the approval process. We will log out as the package approver and log back in as the CMS point of contact. We will see our news page along with any instructions that the package approver has left. After navigating to the task tab, we will select the task labeled attach approval documentation. Under the Audit Information section, we will upload copies of the approval letter with a physical signature on it and any other documentation necessary. We will click Browse to find our document and hit Open. We will now choose Save Documents. You may get a message indicating that the document save is in progress. By clicking the green button that says Refresh, and we may have to do it a few times as it saves, it will take us back to the previous screen after the documents have saved successfully. Please do not navigate off of that screen until your document has successfully uploaded. Doing so may cause your task to be delayed. The document that was uploaded will appear in the table. If necessary, the CPOC may check the box next to an uploaded document and select the button labeled Delete Document to remove it from the Save Document table. Once the approval documentation is uploaded, we will click the green button labeled Take Action on the Package and Yes. The only available workflow action is to return the approved submission package to State Point of Contact for acknowledgement. We will enter for training purposes only in the instructions text box. Next, we will select Execute Action. We will return the approved submission package to the state point of contact by selecting Yes. We will now return to the PowerPoint to review the final steps we just took in the approval process. We will return to the training environment. This slide reviews what we just went over in the system and is here for your future reference. The last step in the approval process is for the CMS point of contact to close the submission package. Once the state point of contact acknowledges approval, 
the CMS point of contact will receive an email notification and a task in their task list to close the submission package. The CMS point of contact will choose the workflow action to close the approved submission package. Execute action is selected and the CPOC chooses yes to close the approved submission package. If the CPOC does not receive notification that the state has acknowledged approval, he or she may want to reach out to the state point of contact. This will ensure that the submission package is closed in a timely manner. This completes the approval process. Here is the full CMS workflow again that details the approval process that we just walked through. Now, let's take a quick look at how the process flow would differ in the case of a disapproval. Like with the approval flow, we will break the disapproval flow down to review in two parts, beginning with the upper portion of this workflow. We will not go into the disapproval process in the Mac Pro system today, but more information will be forthcoming. Much of the process is the same in the beginning stages of the disapproval workflow as compared to the approval work workflow. So we will start with the point at, at which the CPOC determines that they will recommend disapproval. At this point, the POC admin completes the disapproval package and selects senior management users to review the package and the disapproval recommendation. Then, senior management reviews the package and recommended disposition. The senior manager user may request a meeting, or the senior management user may disagree with the recommendation which returns the package to the CPOC for the submission review team to re-review. Again, senior management reviews the package. Let's assume that senior management agrees with the disapproval. The package disapprover then receives the package. The package disapprover may request a meeting. Once the package disapprover agrees with the disapproval, the ASORA receives the package and coordinates with external stakeholders. And the package disapprover disapproves the package. Once the package is disapproved, the CPOC receives the package, uploads the PDF disapproval letter, and returns the package to the state point of contact. The SPOC receives the package and acknowledges receipt, and the CPOC closes the package. The next few slides include the reports available within MacPro for CMS users. Each of these reports functions similarly, but pull different information for your reference. We will now go back into the system to show you uh, how to pull these reports. We begin by selecting reports on the upper toolbar. Notice that there are many reports to choose from. These reports provide you with a streamlined approach to look at data within MacPro. Your access to particular reports will be determined by your role. If you have access to quality measures, you may see reports related to quality measures as well. You may reference the table that we just viewed in the slides to determine which reports your role has access to. For today's training, we will look at the clock status report. As you can see below the link, this report will display a cross-state view of regulatory clock statuses. First, we will select a state to filter the report by. Let's filter for Iowa.
we then see some data filtered in the table below. We can further filter the data by program. Additionally, we can change the order of the table by selecting the headers. Let's select SPA ID to filter by the SPA ID. You will notice that a red arrow appears in the SPA ID column header to indicate that our data is now sorted by this column. Next, let's hit Export to Excel. The export has been initiated and we will receive a task to download the report. So let's go to our tasks on the upper toolbar. We can download the information to see the Excel version by clicking on the blue link to the report. When we are finished, we can close the task to clean out our task list. This is the end of our in-system demonstration portion of today's training. Let's return to the PowerPoint to review the help desk information. There will then be an opportunity to ask for any final questions. Help desk and technical assistance is available for all, all Mac Pro users. For issues related to Mac Pro access and how to use the Mac Pro system, contact the Mac Pro Help Desk at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or call 301-547-4688. To help expedite an answer to your request, here's the information that should be provided in an email request to the help desk. Your contact information, the application you are using, in this case, MacPro Health Home Spa, give a detailed description of the problem, including how many people are affected by it. Specify the last screen or activity that was performed before experiencing the issue, and include the error message that appeared, and preferably a screenshot. MacPro works best with certain internet browsers. We encourage you to reference this slide in preparing to use MacPro. Here's a reminder of your next steps. Management within your center or group should have returned the MacPro roles template with their team's information to the MacPro Help Desk. You will receive notifications including your MacPro information once the roles templates have been processed. Finally, look out for the MacPro Health Home Spa release announcement. This is the end of our demonstration today. I would like to now take the call off presentation mode to allow you to ask any questions you may have.